we keep updating and making your life easier. This time we added settings for the back to top button. With Dividend Pro, you can now customize the button any way you want. You need to make sure that back to top button is enabled. Go to Divi, team options, scroll down and set back to top button to enabled, then save your changes. Next go to Dividem Pro, select team builder tab and go to WordPress customizer. Toggle Dividem Pro global settings and now you're going to see the new option customize back to top button. Toggle that and here we are. To begin with, check the first option here, this is to enable the custom button. There are a lot of settings here and they are all there to make sure that you have everything you need to customize the button any way you want. The first option here is to float the button uh, to the left or to the right on the page. You can also choose the button to be positioned to the top or to the bottom of the page as well. I think that the most natural position for this button is the bottom right. So let's keep that as is. You can also set a horizontal and vertical offset. Uh, of course you could change the button background color and the button hover background color as well. Let's do that immediately. This is going to increase the padding in pixels for this button. You can add a border and change the border color, border color and hover as well. You can also change the radius. So we could for example decrease this to zero so now it's going to be a perfect square. There we go. And uh, of course you can change the icon. Let's quickly change that uh, for example to uh, let's see this one maybe this is an arrow to the top as well so that one should work there we go but also you could hide the icon uh, you could just use the button as is or you could add a text instead so here's a button text field for example you could add text top or back to top however you can also use the text along with the icon too that's perfectly fine as well and there are all the settings for the icon and for the text uh, to change the font style font family uh, size color and more and finally there's button animation you can choose uh, the effect how the button is going to appear on the screen when you uh, scroll down the page and you can hide the button on certain screen sizes. That's it, I really hope you like our new update in this video. Thanks for watching!